Is that not mind blowing to anybody else? And nobody talks about how the is literally the Today, I'm gonna to talk about one of the most mind blowing things that exists in our world that for some reason, nobody ever talks about. And it's called the placebo effect. You've probably heard the phrase before. You might know what the placebo effect is. You might even be in the same situation as me. And you might think, why in the hell does nobody talk about this thing called the placebo effect? So we're going to dive into what it is, what makes it so mind blowing, and then how you can use the placebo effect in your own life. So what is the placebo effect exactly? Well, whenever they're doing drug trials, when there's a new drug that's coming out, what they will do is they will get a group of people and they will give group A the new drug to see how it works on them. So if they have some sort of heart issue or let's just say they have blood pressure issue, right? They'll give them this new, amazing, whatever it is, blood pressure medication. And then for another group, they will tell them that they are getting the blood pressure medication, but they won't actually get anything. What it is, is they'll give them these little pills that are just made out of sugar. So they give them sugar pills, and then they test group A, which have the medication, versus group B that have literally just sugar pills. And here's what's crazy, is this is in all medical trials. All medical trials use the placebo effect as the control. And what they find is that only about 10% 10% of new drugs that go out into the world work better than the placebo effect. Let me say that again. 10% of new drugs that hit the market, only 10% of them work better than a sugar pill in somebody thinking that this, cure, this pill is going to cure them and the pill actually does cure them. So what are we getting at? It's not the sugar that cures somebody. What is it? It's the thought behind it of, I am taking something that's curing me and the mind cures the body. Is that not mind blowing to anybody else? And nobody talks about how the mind is literally healing the body. So let's talk a little bit deeper about it. Let's get some statistics in there. So uh, one third of all medical healings is the placebo effect. That means 33% of all medical healings they actually think comes from the placebo effect. Somebody thinking their way into healing. One third of them. Once again, as I said, 10% of the pills that come out onto the market actually do better than the placebo effect, which means that 90% of the time, your brain will heal you better than taking some medication that comes from some company. So as we dive deeper into it, what we realize is that the thought of I'm being cured cure somebody. So then you dive deeper into it and you go, damn, if I can heal myself with my thoughts, what else can I do with my thoughts? And why do we not pay more attention to this? It has nothing to do with the pill. It has all to do with their mind. And placebo has been shown to cause, this is from an actual clinical study, placebo has been shown to cause measurable change in blood pressure, heart rate, and pain releasing chemicals like endorphins. It affects the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, digestive system, immune system, and respiratory system. It, when they say it, that's what's crazy about it, is it's not an actual thing. It is your own mind that is affecting your cardiovascular system, your endocrine system, your digestive system, your immune system, and your respiratory system. Placebos have been shown to cause massive amounts of neurobiological effects to the brain and the body. Why is nobody talking about this? This makes no sense to me because people are healing themselves with their mind. How incredible is that? And nobody talks about this. There's all of these people that are healing themselves with their mind and we're just going, oh yeah, that's the placebo effect. Oh yeah, I'm a doctor, that's the placebo effect. Now, I'm not trying to knock on doctors, people that are trying to help the, the people get better, but nobody talks about how incredible this is. Let me say this again, one third of all medical healings. So at its simplest form, we are thinking that we are cured. And through thinking that we are cured, we are actually curing. But then you start to think to yourself, huh, that's interesting. If I can heal myself with my mind, is the opposite of that true? Can I make myself sick with my mind? And the answer is, you got it, yes. It's called the nocebo effect. You can make yourself sick with your own thoughts. 
With all of the stuff that's happening in the world right now, this is pretty damn important to talk about, isn't it? If you are living in a state of fear and you are constantly thinking that you might get sick, you might get a virus, you might have something happen to you, what are you actually doing? You're making yourself sicker and you're making yourself actually more susceptible to whatever it is that you're fearing. Let me say that again. Your thoughts of what you are fearing is making you more susceptible to getting the thing that you're actually afraid of getting. If it affects your respiratory system, your cardiovascular system, your immune system, and you are thinking, I'm getting sick from this, or I could get sick from whatever it is that's out there, I won't talk about this thing, but if we're possibly getting sick from it, and I'm worried about getting sick from it, doesn't that mean that I'm lowering my immune system to then actually possibly be more likely to get that thing? It does. So it's called the nocebo. And we all know someone who's always sick, right? You know someone who's always, I mean, they're, they're like the WebMD doctor, right? They're like, oh my gosh, my elbow hurts. And they're like, what is wrong with me? Oh my God, I have elbow cancer, right? Like elbow cancer doesn't exist, but they always think like they have something. And then what happens? They end up having all of these different issues. They're always sick. They're always at the doctor. They always have to go get something with them. They're literally causing their sickness. It happens all the time. And people do this and they don't realize it. So what happens is sometimes someone goes to a doctor, they're perfectly healthy, you know, they, maybe they get sick and then they get stuck on, oh my gosh, I'm sick. And then they think I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. And it continues to keep going and going and going. And what happens is with their thoughts, they get worse and they get worse and they get worse. I know somebody who's literally been sick for 20 years. 20 years. Why? Because they won't get off of the thought of there's something wrong with me and I am always sick. Their thoughts are creating a sickness inside of their body. We all know someone like this. You might be the person who's like this. So obviously with all of the stuff that's happening in the world right now, this is pretty f***ing important, isn't it? For us to realize, oh my God, so if I'm thinking that I'm healthy, if I'm thinking that there is no way that I'm going to get sick, I am actually building up my immune system in all systems in my brain and body to help me fight off whatever might be out there in the world. But if I am sitting in a state of fear and I'm constantly watching the news and I'm constantly hearing about this bad thing and this bad thing and this bad thing and this bad thing, I'm putting myself into a negative state. I'm putting myself into a fearful state. I'm putting myself into a sick state, which then means that I am actually lowering my respiratory system, lowering my immune system, lowering my endocrine system, lowering all of these, my digestive system, all these different systems, making more, me more susceptible to get whatever it is. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. So let's dive into this. If you can heal yourself with your own mind, if you can make yourself sick with your own mind, what else can you do with your own mind? If your mind can literally make you healthier or make you sicker, then what else can it do for us? This is a pretty interesting question. Maybe we should dive into it and start to think about it. If it can make us healthy and if it can make us sick, that means that it can literally create whatever it is that we want to in this world. What does it mean? The world is literally your playground. I want you to remember this. The world, everything around you, all of it is your playground. You can either decide to play or you can either decide to be afraid of what could possibly happen. Your mind is the one that's in charge of that playground. So. The problem is most people don't act like they're in charge. Most people act like, you know, life is just a set of circumstances that are coming at them and they're just constantly trying to dodge them and not get smacked in the face. You know what a lot of the, the visual that comes into my head, one of my favorite, my favorite videos or favorite things to do is there's a, uh, there's an Instagram called kids getting hurt that I follow. I, I don't, it's, it's sick and twisted. Sorry, but it's funny as hell. Uh, and so what, you guys ever seen those things where the kids are playing and there's a, there's that spinning thing that comes around. It's like this big padded, softed bat basically. And kids are trying to dodge this bat and then eventually it hits them. That's basically what people are living their life like. They're just trying to dodge all of the set of circumstances that life is quote unquote throwing at them. And they're not actually taking control of it and trying to stop that and take control of the actual thing that's spinning around with the padding on it, right? They don't think that they're creating their reality. What they think is that they're just trying to put out fires. They're just dealing with sets of circumstances that come at that. But if you can go, okay, I'm going to step into a place of power. I'm going to realize that I'm creating my reality and I'm creating my reality one thought at a time. If you think that you're going to be sick, you're going to be sick. 
If you think that you're going to be healthy, you're going to be healthy. If you think that you are broken, then you are broken. If you think that you are healed, then you are healed. If you think that you're going to be successful with every single cell in your body, all 50 trillion of them, you will eventually get to success. If you think, I know that I am going to find ultimate peace in my life and joy and happiness and love, and you believe it with all 50 trillion cells in your body, then you will eventually do it. You will. And you have to realize when you look into the mirror, you are looking not, when I look in the mirror, I don't see Rob Dial. What I see is a collective of 50 trillion cells that make up Rob Dial. And there is one central voice behind those 50 trillion cells telling it what to do. What is it? My thoughts, my consciousness. And I'm trying to tap in and go, okay, let me see if there's a possibility that I can control these things. I realize it sounds out there. It sounds crazy. But then when you start to really think about it and you hear about this placebo effect, you go, oh, shit, this might actually be true. It's showing in clinical trials that it's true. There's statistics. There's thousands of papers on this thing. Maybe it actually is true. Maybe it does exist. Maybe whatever I think I am, I am. Hmm. That's interesting. Your life will, in, in your life, you will become whatever you think that you are and you will become whatever you think that you will become. So how do we change our body? We change our thoughts about our body. How do we change our lives? We change our thoughts about our lives. How do we change our circumstances? We change our thoughts about our circumstances. How do we change every single aspect of everything that's going on in our lives? We change our thoughts around it. If you can sit there and look at somebody who is able to cure cardiovascular issues through their mind, clearly the mind's powerful. If you can see people who have clearly cured themselves from diseases, terminal diseases. I mean, we've all seen people who the doctor gives them 30 days and they die on the 30th day. We've heard the stories about it. We've also heard people that are just like, I'm not giving up. And they're given 30 days and they live for another seven years. Or they just completely cure themselves. What's the difference? The internal voice. I have a really good friend who, who, uh, who battled cancer a few years ago and he had a 95% chance of dying. Say that again, 95% chance of dying. He had a 5% success rate. That's the statistics across every, it's a, only males can get this uh, cancer. It's not testicular cancer, but it's another type of cancer only males get. And he had a 5% chance of, of living. And I said, what do, you think, what, do you, what do you think made you live? He said, what made me live was that I meditated every single morning and tried to get the central voice inside of me to know that I am not going to die from this. I am not going to give up no matter how hard it seems. He has a wife and two young children and he is like, I am not going to leave the planet. It's not happening. This cancer is not going to take me out. I'm going to freaking succeed. What happened? He ended up beating it. It doesn't exist in his body anymore. Did he go through some hell? He went through some hell for about a year. But guess what? He went to the doctor. Last time I saw him, the doctor actually called him and said, hey, there is, we, we don't see anything inside of your body that shows that you have cancer anymore. And he says, what did he do? As soon as he found out he had it, he made the decision he was going to beat it. And he put every ounce of energy. He said, my full-time job went from my full-time job to my full-time job is healing from this. And I'm going to make sure that it happens. So if you're out there and you have something that's going on in your life, whether it is something serious like this, whether it is an illness, whether it is, you know, uh, whatever going on in your life, it could be getting, you know, terrible life circumstances, all of these things that are happening. Maybe we can try to fix it with our thoughts. Maybe showing that one third of medical healings come from the placebo effect, we can actually heal ourselves. And worst case scenario, it's going to make it a whole hell of a lot better if we're believing and putting every ounce of energy into healing and getting better versus every ounce of energy into worrying about how sick we are or worrying about what's wrong in our life or worrying about these relationships that aren't going the right way. If we decide, I'm going to take full ownership, full control of my life, my life is going to change. It's crazy. It's crazy. Nobody talks about it. But one third of all the medical healings come from people healing themselves with their mind. But then also the other side, of the other side of the fence is the nocebo. People make themselves more sick by what they're thinking. So I want you to think of this and I want you to think back in your life. And I want you to think of what type of person are you? Are you the type of person that when something comes up, when circumstances that aren't the way that you want to come up, are you the type of person that's like, oh man, woe is me, poor me, victim mentality. Look, it's happening to me again. It always happens to me or I'm always broke or I'm always losing money or this is always happening to me. Are you that type of person? Or are you the type of person that's like, okay, 
Challenge is here. Challenge accepted. I'm going to figure out, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to get past this challenge. And I'm not going to not succeed. I'm going to figure out a way to do it. Which person are you? Because your mind, in my opinion, is the most powerful thing in the entire universe. But the real question is, are you using your mind against you? Or are you using your mind to your advantage? You can literally create heaven on earth or you can create hell on earth. And all of those are created through your thoughts. So I want you to think about that. And I want to leave you with this one question. If you can create anything that you want to in this world and you're fully 100% in control of it, what do you want to create? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Have you ever felt like I can't fully allow myself to be in this moment because there is a chance that one day it's going to be gone?